so I was drawing and my sister FaceTimed me out of nowhere. I was like, oh my god. And because of that, a preview shows up and I was like, oh no. And it shows and your face. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, today we have Azumi Eileen, a very, very cute VTuber that is joining us for an interview yeah. on Twitch. So I'm so excited Hello. to have you here. Hello. Do you want to introduce yourself and let us know what you do? Yeah, uh, I'm Hazumi Eileen. I am a Lion Idol VTuber. Uh, I typically stream on Twitch. I stream a lot of variety games, um, but my favorite game so far is Valorant. It's a FPS shooter game. Other than that, I upload covers onto YouTube. I draw sometimes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. So you do a bit of variety type of streaming then. What mm -hmm. actually got you to start becoming a VTuber? Previously, I had done some face cam streaming before, but I, I started feeling very unmotivated doing so. And oh. I always felt like I, I felt pressured, like always having to like look my best and and like working more hard on my appearance than like my personality and like my game mm. gaming stuff and whatever. So I started getting like very, like I said, unmotivated. And then I always saw Gigi doing like VTube stuff. And I was like, man, like I want to try that one day. So you do need a VR set to do some things, but I, I found out as a live 2D model, I don't have to do any of that. Like I just need my phone. It was very, very good timing because I, as I started becoming like unmotivated, Gigi kind of reached out to me. I was like, hey, like I'm opening up commissions for live 2D models. So if you want to join, like this is your time now. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. So I just took the leap and uh, became a 2D VTuber. Oh, so happy to hear you're yeah. uh, one of Gigi's daughters. <laughs> yes, I'm her second daughter. <laughs> so does that make me my uh, your aunt? <gasps> yes, you are my aunt. <laughs> I'm your auntie. <laughs> yes. That makes sense. Yeah, so how long have you been doing uh, VTubing for? Uh, so I debuted in January of 2021. So it's oh, next wow. month will be my six month anniversary. Okay. Yeah. Wow, so that's yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. relatively recent, right? Yeah, thinking about it, like it feels like time has barely passed, but I guess time has definitely passed a lot more than I thought because <laughs> I didn't even think about that six months was coming up already. So what got you to continue or keep you motivated to keep streaming as a VTuber? I think what really helped me keep my motivation was unlike um, like streaming with like a face cam or webcam like this, I felt like people really cared about my personality more more than like before at least like now people have like s some people which is so weird but people have commented that they liked my voice and i'm like that's so weird because i've never gotten that comment before in my life but i guess now that i'm kind of behind this model people tend to notice some things like that more so i, I really like that and i like that people come back to my streams because they just like how I like react to things. They like enjoy like how I talk to people and stuff like that. So I think that's what, what like really keeps me motivated and just like my chat and stuff is what really, really keeps me going. Oh, happy to hear that. Yeah. So then do you know what type of audience mainly watches your streams? Um, I feel like if I have to put a demographic, I think people pretty close to my age. So like either those that are in college or those that are kind of like just getting out of college is the basic demographic i believe people also that like watching like variety streams i don't think the audience that i have likes watching one particular game that i play i think they just kind of enjoy the wide like array of games that i have like in my back burner mm. to play mm. so so then what what's your streaming hours like like are you doing this full time and how often do you stream yeah, so currently I am doing this full time. I actually recently graduated, so I kind of wanted to take a break from um, like finding a job or something like that yeah. to do this full time for, for a bit because I, I have some savings, thankfully. So <laughs> I have the privilege of uh, getting to do this. So uh, I do do full time. I stream about five days a week and my streams can last from anywhere between two to four hours. Um, previously, I started streaming around like 6 p.m., but I've come to realize that my audience tends to like my late hour streams so um starting i think it was like mid last month i started streaming towards 9 p.m pst um oh, and wow. on and i i surprisingly have like a decent audience from that so i'm like you know what i'll just keep doing that i stay up late anyway so might as well do you know where your audience is from is it mainly north america or you have people from around the world 
So I do have a few from Europe, but I think mainly they are from North America. What surprises me a lot is that many of my audience is actually from the East Coast. So oh. when I start my stream, it's already midnight for them. And I'm like, oh, like, are you sure you oh, want to really? be here? Like, isn't it late for you? <laughs> yeah. Huh. I guess people stay up late anyways, and you're doing like kind of like a Monday to Friday thing, or do you stream on the weekends? Uh, I do stream on the weekends sometimes. I like to give myself a break at least like one or two days on the weekend off. Um, but for the most part, it's the weekdays and then one or two days on the weekend. But I, I know a lot of people have said that they like to like listen to my stream before bed oh. or like while they're like going to sleep or to put them to sleep. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> like that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so then, um, do you do a lot of interaction with your fans? Are you kind of more focused on like gaming and, or do you kind of do a bit of both? Um, I do try to do a bit of both. Um, when I play games, if they're not like if they don't need my attention too much, I try to read every like chat message that I get. Um, sometimes like, for example, yesterday I was playing It Takes Two and it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> so I wasn't able to interact with chat as much, but typically for like just chatting streams or like I said, streams that don't take too much um, concentration. I do like to talk to my chat a lot. Um, mm. And I, I do want to get more into uh, interacting with chat more. Like recently I started doing uh, Mario Kart streams where I have my chat join me uh, if they have the game. So I definitely want to do something more things like community based as well. What do you like the most about streaming as a VTuber as like opposed to streaming as a real person? <laughs> um, I think I like the fact that I can just start streaming like my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like I right? just sit there in my pajamas, no makeup. And <laughs> it's just I just stay like this the whole time. So it's I think it's like very convenient and it's just because sometimes like when I would stream with a face camera webcam like um, I would just kind of dread like having to either come back home from a long day and then having to like put on makeup and then start my stream like put on something nice. I'm like, ah, oh. like I just dread that. So having this convenience is, is very nice. Do you find that it's tough streaming for long hours? Like does your mouth get tired? Like, I know I was talking for even like an hour on my stream last time and my yeah. cheeks were hurting. <laughs> oh, how do yeah. you how do you deal with that? Because you're the only person that's talking, really. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I do get that. I, for some reason, when I was doing my webcam streams before, I could stream for like four, four hours and on like without a problem. But ever since I started VTubing, it's been a lot harder. And I think it's because I tend to talk more because I have a lot more um, viewers in my chat so I'm always talking and yeah my jaw does hurt a lot but luckily I, I try to hydrate as much as possible because my throat also starts to get dry from talking so much um, so I think that's just something to like take note of like always remember to hydrate always remember to like give yourself a break if you have to uh, like if you if you don't have the I guess like stamina or whatever to like talk to everyone in your chat like it's okay like they'll understand mm, yeah um how do you deal with when you're kind of doing like chatting with people but mm -hmm. no one is typing so how do you deal with that oh yeah i've i've had that before and it's kind of like an awkward silence but <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> yeah i think from there i kind of just start to ask questions and if not i either like tell a story that like reminds me of like the scenario that i'm in or like if i'm playing a game and no one's really chatting I start to try to like either interact with the game or like I said, like make up a, not make up a story, but like think of a story and tell the story that like reminds me of something in that moment. So there's a little bit of a, less of an awkwardness. And I think from the stories, like more people start to reply with like reactions and stuff, which is, which is nice. <laughs> there's less of an awkward silence. There. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of one <laughs> of the things that streamers have to learn how to deal with when, especially when you're starting out and there's yes, not very exactly. many people watching you. Do you ever feel discouraged when you have like, a lower view count and then you don't feel as much energy to stream. yeah so i've definitely felt that before and like i said someone uh recommended me to hide the viewer count because even if you don't realize it if your viewership or if your numbers is either lower than what you expect or is gradually getting lower in the time that you're streaming you may not realize it but you start to definitely feel more sad even though you might not think so and like mm -hmm. i've definitely felt that before too and i'm like oh like i need to stop this and i like i'll hide the viewer count even yesterday, actually, I, I realized I was like, oh, like my numbers aren't doing very good today. So oh. I was like kind of just sitting there and, and like thinking of like why this was happening. And then I had to oh. kind of like get myself out of that. I was like, no, 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 just just focus on like the, the numbers and like the, the chatters that you have right now. And like, like that's yeah. not it's not a huge deal. 
so yeah so it, it's definitely something that everyone feels like i felt myself but i think definitely hiding the viewer count is something that'll really help you stay just as motivated as when you started so then when you first started to set up your your streaming rig for a vtuber setup mm -hmm. How long did that get you to like, how long did it take for you to set up your VTuber rig? I only have two monitors, thankfully. And surprisingly, like the rig and everything is not hard to set up at all. When I first initially got my model and had to set it up, that was a little bit difficult. But to set up a stream literally takes me like five minutes. I just have to set up my phone. I have to um, set up uh, the or I have to connect the VTube studio to my phone from my desktop. And that's just a, a wireless connection through um the IP number or IP address. So it's really convenient. And then I just do a transparent screen and then I just put myself in OBS and start the game and then that's it. So it's it's really, really simple. And the only thing that I have really that um, helps me set it up is just my phone and a little stand with like a gooseneck. Oh yeah, with the the three D monitor. Yeah, yeah. What is it called? A camera. Yeah, luckily the... I don't have to go like that far. It's just like a little thing that clips to my table. <laughs> but I know what you're talking about. But yeah, it's super convenient. So I was like, oh wow, like this is it. I thought it was way more way more intricate than this. Hmm. So if you were to give a tip to someone who wants to start out to be a VTuber, mm -hmm. what kind of advice would you give to them? I think that so an issue that a lot of people have in this community that I've noticed is that they will spend a lot of money or think that they have to spend a lot of money for like a nice model or a nice rig. And then they'll start streaming and then they'll they'll come to realize that it's not something that they want to do and they just quit. So I would suggest like if you're just starting out and if you haven't streamed before, then I wouldn't go with a really fancy model first because... For me, I, I've been streaming before and I knew that I enjoyed streaming, so I kind of went all in. But mm. for those that haven't really experimented with it before, you don't need the best or the best looking model, I believe. So that's kind of a, a stigma or kind of a worry that people have when they want to start VTubing, but they can't afford it. Like if you can't afford it, just go with what you can afford without like breaking the bank, basically, is, is something that I would say. But you went with one of the best, my sister, <clears throat> Gigi, <laughs> yes, with yes, designing yes. your character. <clears throat> <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> Do you ever get, like, um, some comments from your fans saying, oh man, I'd like to see you in real life, or, you know, have a mix-up of both, or you, people really don't care, they just enjoy seeing you as a VTuber? Because I know there's some people that kind of do mm -hmm. both, right? Yeah, there are. I know uh, Bunny, Bunny Jif, or Bunny Ayu, Ayu, shit, I forgot her. Are you bunny? Are you me bunny? Yeah, are you bunny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does both. I, I, I've seen. So I was like, oh wow. But I don't. I don't think I could ever do both. I don't think I could ever go back to webcam streaming. But someone in my chat a while ago had asked me if I was ever going to do both, and I was like, mm, probably not. Or like, if I was going to do like a face reveal or something, I was like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anywhere yeah. on the internet that's linked to your VTuber account to like no, a picture of you in real life or? I don't think so. I started off like fresh. Like I started oh. off like with zero followers on Twitter and Twitch. Um, I made sure like not to connect <laughs> anything. I even made like a new Discord too. Cause I was like, I don't want anything linked back to me. <laughs> oh man. So do, yeah. you, do people actually recognize like, hey, I recognize that voice. This is actually this person in real life. Have you ever had I that happen? I've had one mutual friend message me on Instagram and I was like, uh, I don't think I'm going to open this because I know what this is about. <laughs> but I think that was the one time ever. But I've I've had people in my chat tell me like, oh, if I, I ever like, if like Hazumi ever graduated and like went corporate and had a new model, like I would recognize her voice immediately. I was like, oh God, don't say that because then that could be the same in like real life. Right. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that's the only thing that worries me a little. Do you not want your people, like your family and friends, to know that you're a VTuber? Like, do they actually know uh, you stream or you just hush hush about it? So my family knows that I stream. They don't know what I stream as. Like, they don't know that I'm a VTuber. Because last time they had talked to me, I was doing my, my webcam streaming. But I like told my friends, my very close friends, that I was doing this. And a lot of them actually wanted to start as well. So it was really nice. So one of them is doing it right now. And then the other two are starting out... Um, I like with new Twitters and stuff and trying to like get into the community. So I was like, okay, like that's really good. So I'm glad I told them. 
Yeah. So if someone were to come to you and be like, hey, I want to start streaming, would you recommend them to do VTuber first or streaming as a real life person first? I think I would give them the pros and cons of both and have mm -hmm. them kind of decide what they want to do. Because I think that a lot of people think that VTubing is already really saturated, but I think it's still super new. Because um, mm -hmm. I think like there's only maybe a few hundred VTubers, if anything, especially on the uh, West Indie side. Like there's there's not a lot as you would think that there are. So I, I do think and encourage people like if if streaming is something that you want to do, but you're either too shy or you're too self-conscious or something like that. I think VTubing is a really, really good way to go about it. What do you think the future of VTubers are going to say now that the pandemic's kind of going towards a um, mm -hmm. positive turn with all the vaccines coming out? What do you think will happen when people can start traveling and doing things mm -hmm. again? What do you think will happen to the tube stream or a scene or even yeah. like Twitch scene? Yeah, that's actually something that I've talked to a few friends about. So I feel like I do feel like there are going to be some people that quit like VTubing or, or go very, very part time with streaming because either they'll get a new job and they won't be able to balance the two um, or they'll just quit as a whole which I've, I've seen a few people do already um, as the pandemic comes to like an end. Um, Twitch wise, I've, I've also been kind of worried and I've talked to a few friends about this, that because schools are going to be starting up, people are going back to work. There's going to be a lot less people on Twitch also. Mm -hmm. So everyone's viewership may, may take a, a huge plunge. Um, so I guess it's just kind of about like trying to keep, keep your audience and, and make sure um, people are very entertained and, and want to come back. Um, and having regulars, I think, is a, a really good way to do that. So what but, do you plan yeah. to do, like, say, by the end of the year? If things are open back, are you going to continue streaming or mm -hmm. are you are going to keep I doing think, that? I think I will. Um, before, before VTubing, I was doing streaming almost full time. I was doing school full time and I had a job. So I, I think I'm one of the people that have come to understand, like, a balance of how to, how to keep my streaming life and my work life um, uh, separate and balanced, like I said. Uh, so I think by the end of the year, I'll, I'll still keep doing it. If not full-time, almost full-time. So do you have any goals that you set for this year? What do you want to accomplish as a VTuber by the end of 2021? There was a lot, actually. So um, I had set a few goals. One of them was getting like Twitch partner because it, it's something that I've always wanted. And I feel like that's kind <laughs> of like a, uh, yeah, it's, I feel like that's kind of like a, a goal for myself personally. Like I, I don't, I don't care too much about like the numbers and everything, but I think it's like a, a goal like telling past has me like you did this like right. you, you finally did it kind of thing so that's one of the goals that i had some other ones is that i had wanted to record like a certain amount of covers um because oh. it's something that i always, always had wanted to do yeah and this is the first year that i've actually been able to to work with mixers and and video editors so it's super super cool so that's another goal that i had and then uh, eventually I, I would really really like to audition for something like corporate and obviously like i won't be able to say it like if i ever get in but that's something that <laughs> i definitely like had in mind just want to like have a good community and build a community oh you know those are really cool goals you know like <laughs> striving to like create more from where you're starting so and like doing yeah. voice stuff and singing oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. like I'd, I'd love to do like I think a few people in my chat were like, you should try like voice acting. And I'm like, oh my God, like I would love to. Cause like, since I was a kid, I've always wanted to do that. So I'm like, maybe one day I'll get that opportunity. Why not? You can create your own opportunity, right? So, Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, get, get <laughs> together with a I bunch should. of friends and just maybe do some sort of like audio novel, visual novel thing, whatever that's it is. True. Cause you guys that draw, right? True. Why don't you just, yeah. you know, create something on your own? That's true. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I will do that. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. And I think um, with anything that you're starting off, you have to do a lot of free promotional type of content mm. first before you can actually yeah. get paid. So you have to do a lot of um, partnerships with people for fun or like kind of yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. indie agree. projects and whatnot first. But then you, that's how you get your experience, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about experience. I, I love getting new experiences. <laughs> what would you say would be the biggest challenge as a VTuber? for you this year? Um, I think just the, the pandemic really like hit me hard and I've been very like, kind of like contemplating life. So it, it is definitely something that I've thought about. Like, is this something that I want to do uh, forever? Like, obviously I think anyone's dream is to do content creation full time, but um, like everyone, it's also something very, very hard to come by and you have to work really, really hard. So 
during this time, I've been kind of trying to keep myself organized and saying, like, this is what I have to do now to try to, like, get farther ahead later. Um, so it's trying to, I've just been trying to, like, plan everything out. And I think that's been the most difficult thing. And just kind of, like, having that, like, life crisis. <laughs> Oh, I know everyone's been kind of going through like yeah, depression I, and yeah. during COVID, not seeing people. Oh, yeah. And do you find I that agree. a lot of um, your viewers who are coming to watch you are kind of suffering from a lot of COVID symptoms too, like as in social interaction? And I think so. I think that's why there's a lot of people on Twitch in the first place now. Like people mm. just want that that social interaction, like you said. Like they they want to be able to like talk to someone. And I know obviously people are like lonely. They're either like living alone or living with their parents and like don't have that. Um, typical interaction with their friends that they're used to like you can have it on discord but it only goes so far so i think having that interaction with the streamer um is really good too because they can talk to someone like in real time and like have fun while doing it do you usually do any collaborations with other streamers like playing games together like what we're doing right now chatting together yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do i do like doing um a lot of streams together with other people typically i do mostly like games with other people like just yesterday i did it takes two like i mentioned and the other day i did uh phasmophobia which requires three other people yes. other than myself <laughs> yeah so that's fun i i really really like collaborating with friends like i think it's it's such a like i know people are like oh you can't really grow from collaborations and i, I kind of agree with that sometimes to an extent but i think it's just super fun to play with other people because sometimes it's like you want other people and um, it's nicer because like again there's less of that awkwardness because you have other people to talk to if like your chat isn't talking um, yeah. so I think that's really fun yeah I really really enjoy that does your chat or your viewers enjoy you when you bring guests on to collaborate yeah I think uh, what's good is that um, typically the people that I collaborate with are in my friend circle so they're already kind of like used to these people or like they they watch these people also so when i bring them on or when they bring me on they're like oh wow like they're together like this is awesome and so they really enjoy that so I i'm glad they like like having other people with me <laughs> have you ever had a a mishap that happened when you're streaming live as a vtuber <laughs> yes like oh i don't know God. something glitched and your face showed up on the screen i don't know yes, what it is actually <laughs> oh, yes, did it actually oh, did happen no. yes <laughs> yes i i oh my god it was the worst because so i and this is why i don't like stream drawing as much anymore but oh. i i draw on an ipad and okay. i made sure that all of my stuff was like turned off so like i made sure that phone calls are turned off texts were turned off and like notifications would only show the that i've gotten a notification like if oh. i get like a, a gmail notification it would just say gmail one notification so like nothing would show yeah 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 but i didn't know that facetime was a separate thing like i thought it was connected to the calls when okay. i turned the calls off i wouldn't get that either and so i was drawing and my sister facetimed me out of nowhere i was like oh my god and because of that a preview shows up and i was like oh no and it shows and your face yes yes a part of it and i was like oh, oh my god and i started freaking out and like I, I tried not to show it on stream but i just got really quiet and then i noticed that someone had clipped it and i was like oh <gasps> hell no oh no and i i couldn't see who it was because i just wanted it out of there so i just immediately deleted it and I just kind of like mm. sat on stream for a little bit and like tried to like play it off. And I was like, okay, like I'm going to end now. But I was like freaking out the whole time. And I, <gasps> I ended early. But yeah, that was something that I will never forget about. I, I got so scared. And like most of my chat was so sweet. And they're like, oh, we didn't see anything. Like, don't worry, don't worry. Like, we'll, mm. we won't remember this at all. And so they were really, really <laughs> nice about it. But whoever clipped it, I'm going to get you. <laughs> oh, they're going to like start like sending all of the internet. Like, no. Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> Luckily, nothing ever popped up. So I'm, I'm very glad. But oh. oh, my God, that was the worst. I can't imagine some sometimes maybe like a mishap happens to some of the other mm -hmm. girls. And they actually see like entire face, right? Yeah, like oh. I've yeah, I, I've been so scared to that's why I like disconnect my webcam. <laughs> so nothing like that would happen yeah. like on stream. Yeah, but that was something that I, I will never forget. Yeah, I usually flip my webcam up yeah and then yeah. if something happens it's pointing to my roof anyways <laughs> that's just good, to be that's safe good, yeah. right oh man you can never never, never be too, sorry. too careful exactly exactly i could not believe it i was like no way because i couldn't believe that the facetime was separate from just the calls because i thought when i turned calls off that would turn off too but what are the odds that i get a facetime call during my stream oh my gosh did you uh give your sister heck <laughs> i oh my god i was so mad at her i was like don't do that without telling me and did she call you for a really good reason? Nope. I think it was something really stupid. Oh my god. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. But oh. did she know you stream though? 
She knows that I stream, but she doesn't know like when, and she doesn't know why I can't show my face. So, because oh. <laughs> from her understanding, like I've already showed my face before, but I'm like, no, mm. no, not really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh, so, so if your parents were to ask you what you're doing right now, like how do you explain to them? Do they understand um, the culture of YouTubing or streaming? Streaming, yes. They they just know their idea of streaming is that I play games and make money from people watching me. It's not and lying. I guess, in a sense, yeah, you're, they're not wrong. <laughs> but like the whole VTubing thing, I I don't really know how to explain it to them. I think I would have to kind of show them, be like, oh, this is what I do, and like show them like an example of someone else because I don't want them to watch me. <laughs> um, yeah, something like that. Like I think I would have to do. But oh. I, I think one day I'll explain it to them. I just haven't really gotten a chance or like haven't like come to figure out like a way to explain it to them like i'm an anime character and i come to yeah. life oh online. my god they, they already i mean they were they're not disappointed that i like cosplayed and stuff but they were just like oh like okay that's cool so. all my parents were disappointed at me when i first cosplayed too but now they're like do your thing <laughs> oh my god i'm glad they've come to accept it yeah i remember asking my dad like he's like what do you want for christmas I'm like a sewing machine he's like Oh. let me get you a ps instead like a playstation i'm like dad what? i want a sewing machine really bad he's like no <laughs> oh my god Sad. you would think that your parents would want you to like have less games i know no it was it was totally my dad that kept buying us games and games and games to play and that's why like my sisters are totally gamers and i just that's wanted to so sew cute. right <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> literally i think he's trying to brainwash us to just stay at home and not go out and party and drink and do drugs like all the bad kids, but we just want to be home. <laughs> that's such a good way, though. Like, my, my yeah. baby sister, she's only nine, and she's, like, a huge weeb already. And she, like, wants to, like, cosplay, and she watches anime, and I'm like, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Now you'll stay home forever. <laughs> I think that's, like, the best parenting strategy. If you get them hooked on something that you're, <laughs> makes you want to be a homebody, they'll never leave yeah. the house and never cause trouble. But then exactly. you kind of worry when you want them to get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, we, we kind of screwed up with this. Yeah, I mean, I think we all turned out okay. Yeah. Myself and my two sisters, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you all get along. I think that's so cute. We we get along. No, we, we do. We do get along. We do get along. It, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> do your siblings, like you said, your sister, the, the she, is she into anime and stuff? Does she understand the culture and, and all or not really? I think she does. She's only nine. So I, I know she's oh, like starting okay, to, okay, but okay. <laughs> she, she does like, she knows Twitch streamers and stuff. Like I remember I, I went over one day and she's like, oh, like, do you know like Corpse Husband or Saikuno? I was like, oh, like, what the heck? Like, how do you know these people? Like you're nine years old. Oh. And so she like, she has an understanding about Twitch streamers and she knows a little bit about VTubing too. Cause like, mm. I kind of like gave her a little bit of a talk about it so that oh. I could one day be like, yeah, this is me. Um, oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> does yeah. she watch any vtubers i don't think so i think she just watches mostly like just like the typical like famous like twitch streamers i think that's all she <laughs> watches right now yeah what would happen if say your family would come up to you and say hey did you see this vtuber which is you or like your friends would say did you see this person what would you how would you respond to that because you're kind of like yeah <laughs> hiding I your thought... identity yeah i've had like that situation like play in my head before like if like a friend i know like somehow like has like like one of my like drawings or like my skebs that i got like they posted they're like oh this is so cute like look at this vtuber and i'm like uh <laughs> something like that i don't really know how i would react i feel like oh she's cute yeah that's cool like maybe i'll watch her sometime maybe i'll watch her but like never <laughs> <'Cause Yeah. you> <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> <laughs> oh i see yeah like with my dad he actually brings my photo books to his workplace and shows it to his customers so it's a little <laughs> awkward sometimes because i have these photo books of my cosplays and he you yeah. know when because he's a hairdresser so when they're getting their hair cut he uh -huh. would give them the books he's like look it's my daughter my daughter cosplay she famous so famous la online you know <laughs> so funny. and i'm just like oh my god dad's like you have more photo books i'm like no dad <laughs> it's a little embarrassing so but cute. but that's how he supports i guess yeah my yeah my sexy <laughs> cosplay content and like literally when you open the books they're like sexy cosplay photos and he's just oh showing it to his customers I'm like, okay dad so okay funny yeah. i understand how embarrassing that would be but that's so funny like i love how supportive that is in like his own little way 
<laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. it's it's funny. But our our yeah. dad, our mom and dad are pretty supportive. So that's good. That's really our nice. fandom of our it's kind of career now. Yeah. Uh, that's so cute. Oh, that's that's super nice to have. Like that's that's good parenting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everything I post online, my grandparents, everyone sees that too. <gasps> really? <laughs> What do your grandparents say? They look at the book and they don't say anything. So they're open-minded, <laughs> but they don't comment. <laughs> so okay, that's it. good. That's good. At least. Yeah. At least it's not like the people who like start like judging you or something. I'm pretty sure they're judging internal, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. At least it's internally, not externally. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you think your parents would judge you if you kind of told them, this is what I do? Um, I think <laughs> they would kind of be like, like, oh, okay. But like my dad is someone that's always like, like you got to make money like just make money like i'm but pretty sure are. like if I, if I, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly so like as long as i'm making money i think he's fine like he was like it's okay if you have to like sell your body i was like okay i'm not really? doing that but <laughs> <yeah. laughs> he's like as long as you're making money i was like oh. okay i'm just an anime character don't worry <laughs> you're selling your anime character's body i don't know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially oh. oh my god that's so funny yeah yeah so he yeah that's that's the only thing so i don't think they would like judge me as long as like i'm doing this and making money i think they're happy i think ultimately parents just like have the expectation if you're like can take care of yourself mm -hmm. then everything should be fair game <laughs> yeah yeah exactly I, I think my dad uh was talking to me yesterday he's like well like do you make like enough to pay the bills and i was like well i, I can pay my rent at least so he's yeah. like oh that's good at least <laughs> yeah so I i'm glad that like i can do something i enjoy and like also make money from it Mm -hmm. Do you do anything outside of VTubing? Like, because right now your income would be from Twitch and subs and donations. Yeah. Do you have any other mm -hmm. streams of income? Like, do you sell, have a store that sells um, mm -hmm. merchandise or artwork? Yeah, so I used to have an Etsy store connected to my old, like, Instagram. And I still get orders sometimes, but I don't, like, advertise it as much anymore. Um, but I am planning on doing merchandise for um, my VTube character. And occasionally I'll open up commissions if I'm, like, in desperate need of money. But... <laughs> uh luckily like i have some sort of streams of income right now so that's good at least but uh i also have like a very very part-time job i just kind of do like data entry on the side but oh, okay um, that just helps a little bit more of an income too if yeah. you, you're buttload rich would you still like continue to stream is that something you enjoy i think i would i it's something i really really enjoy like if i have like a bad day or if i'm like feeling down like anytime i turn on stream i always feel better talking to my chat for some reason oh. i mean it, they they make me feel very very happy so i i don't think i would quit i think i might go part-time if anything and like maybe stream like two to three times a week but i don't think i could ever just stop because i feel like the community that i've already built is like very very dear to me so i don't think i could just leave them behind without like a proper reasoning right. what kind of platforms do you use for social media besides twitter mostly twitter so twitter? twitter is what i mostly use um just to kind of like engage with other vtubers or other uh content creators on that platform and fans of course and then mm. i have my discord where i get to talk to my community um i want to do more community things that involve my discord as well but that's kind of where i advertise like when i'm starting my stream or like I'm I'm streaming here or like for today I was like hey like I'm 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 getting interviewed here Yay. stuff like that so <laughs> yeah 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 so it's a good way to kind of um let people that really want to know about my streams like know about them I had a question to ask do you do because you know you you've been wanting to do music type of uh, production for uh -huh. your content do you do like karaoke streams and stuff like that too on the side yeah so I I did one big karaoke stream as like a first community challenge thing on twitch it was like four hours of karaoke oh, i was like God. oh man like my voice can only handle so much <laughs> but i'm gonna try to do more i have a i have a subathon coming up and um for two hours i i dedicated that to karaoke too and i'd love to do more karaoke streams also <laughs> what kind of songs do you sing honestly anything i like i like any like american music japanese music like Korean music stuff like that like I, I listen to almost anything to be honest for your karaoke streams do you mm -hmm. just sing what you want or you kind of take requests from your audience so for the first karaoke stream I was just singing what I wanted and then if like I like had done like donations like request a song for a donation oh, yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. 
yeah yeah so then i would do that but i think the upcoming karaoke stream i'm just gonna sing whatever i want because it's already a subathon i don't want yeah. people to like pay more <laughs> right. so i'm just gonna sing whatever yeah 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 and yeah. if someone like suggests a song like it's something that i like want to sing but i didn't think about i was like okay like i'll sing that but i do stuff like that mostly any songs in particular you want to cover oh there's a few songs that I actually have like in mind. There was duets that I wanted to do with Gigi actually, Whoa! but we'll save those for later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there's some songs that I really wanted to cover that I- I've actually already done recordings of and I- I've sent them over. So I'm like really excited for that. Um, I want to do a lot of like anime opening covers, if anything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, definitely that mostly like just being a weeb. <laughs> I want to be able to do like just sing those songs uh even if they're like a short opening version (laughs) yeah 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 and i also wanted to do like older anime songs like Mm. songs from like my childhood and stuff like that i would like to do that kind of like throwback music yeah those are definitely some things that i want to do what vtuber inspired you to do vtubing uh definitely Gigi. i think was probably like the main person because i i wasn't really um like aware of some of the vtubers before like hollow live and everything like I i knew who they were Mm -hmm. Um, but I never like had gotten into them, especially because up until last year, there was only Japanese Hololive members. And obviously the time difference is just so difficult to the point where it's like, you can't watch them without like losing sleep. So, um, she's definitely the first one for me that was really like, cause I had watched Gigi's streams, uh, starting like, I think it was, uh, early last year. And I was just like, Oh, like, wow. Like, what is this? Like, what is that? Like, she's moving, but it's not her. Yeah, I think that's what really got me into, like, the curiosity of it all. And what kind of drawn you to to decide to do VTubing? Like, besides the whole, like, novelty of uh, 3D uh, anime character, like, was it a certain style that she did or type of content that she created that made you want to, like, hey, that's what I want to do, too? I think... Kind of, because Gigi does mostly art, so mm-hmm. obviously I do mostly games, so it's a little bit different. But I think just, like, watching people be so entertained by, like, Gigi being a anime character, I think that was <laughs> just so cool to me. Because I'm like, wow, like, I can be the anime girl that I've always wanted to be. So <laughs> I think that's what really, like, drew me into it. I was like, damn, like, that's so cool. So I thought that was just super cool, and I always thought about that. And then finally, when she, like, approached me to do it, I was like, yes, let's do it. And so, okay, I see your character design here. You have like mm-hmm. your cute ears and your tail. How did you decide that this is what you wanted to look like as a character? Oh my gosh. So the first thing that me and Gigi talked about was like, what? Because I, I told her, I was like, I want to be someone with like animal ears. Like, I don't want to be a human. I want to be like a kimono mimi. So yeah. like, I want animal ears. And so we kind of like talked about it. And originally, I think I had told her that I wanted to do a Shiba Inu because that's yeah. what my my old dog my first dog was Aww. and um Gigi was like okay I think there's a lot of those and I was like oh, okay well and so <laughs> we were just kind of going back and forth with like what animals are too popular in in the case where I might not stand out and what are some that are like not as popular and we were going through like other games that had like animal eared characters and we were going through Ark Knights and then I think Gigi was like oh like what about like a lion and I was like you know what like Siege. I like that like, <laughs> like that, that's a good idea so we went with the lion and then I told her like I wanted to be like an idol character because ever since I was a kid like being an idol was like my dream kind yeah. of thing <laughs> and so I was like I want to be an idol and so we kind of just went through the motions of I, I gave her um like the rundown of what i wanted i was like i want to have long hair i want to have an outfit like this from there we kind of just went with all the colors and Gigi suggested a crown and i was like okay okay like that's good that's good and, <laughs> yeah we just kind of went from there <laughs> oh, it's good. to come up with this mm-hmm. do you think you'd ever um change outfits because i know some some of the youtubers kind of change their outfits yes every few it's months a, it's or whatever a secret it but that might be happening oh secret yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> secret is there a streamer you want to collaborate with oh there okay so this is a very very like long shot but i really like there's a hololive indonesia member named oh yeah yeah kudeji ollie and like i just love her energy like her energy is just so crazy like like her name means like crazy so (laughs) just like her energy um like i don't get tired watching her and she also enjoys like FPS games. And she was mm. like, oh, I want to get into Valorant. So I was like, oh my gosh, like 
I would love to play with her one day. So she's definitely a streamer that I would love to play with because I love that high energy because streaming or collabing with someone with high energy like brings my energy up too. Yes. So yes. I really like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely the type of person that like feeds off of others' energies. <laughs> so I would love to stream with her one day. Like that's like a dream for me. When do you think you can actually like, what do you have to do to be able to stream with her? When do you think you can reach that uh... point where you can see like, reach out to be like, hey, let's stream. Yeah, I definitely. So she does follow me on Twitter. So that's like oh. the first step is complete. Oh, yes. I think I think to stream with Hololive members, I think you have to go through like a process. I don't know if it's oh, only the okay. Japanese members, but I know you have to go through like an actual application process to stream mm. with someone. I'm kind of lazy to do that. But oh. <laughs> maybe one day. But uh, I also want to kind of build my following more because I feel like I want like that um, credentials. Is that the right word? Something like that. Um, mm -hmm. To, to be able to be like, oh, yeah, like, of, of course I can, like, see you streaming with her because, like, you're, like, big or whatever in, in that sense. So I feel like I have to prove myself worthy. <laughs> well, hopefully you reach that point one day or yeah. even if you don't, maybe just give it a shot and be like, hey, do you want to yeah, do this? Yeah. You, me, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be cool. Even offline, I wouldn't mind. That'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Are any games you're looking forward to playing on stream? Or, I mean, what, would, what kind of game would you even play with? Um, mm. Your dream VTuber collaboration. Uh, for for Ollie I, specifically, I would definitely want to do like an FPS game because she's mm -hmm. more of a an FPS person, I believe. Mm -hmm. I want to play more, I guess, story games. Recently, I completed uh, the first ending to Near Replicant, and I thought that was super mm -hmm. fun. And recently, uh, just a few days ago, I started Yakuza Zero for the very first time. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh wow, like this is a a really good game. And I definitely wasn't someone that was into like RPG games growing up, but I really really enjoy it. So I, I want to try to get into some some more RPGs in the future, like. Final Fantasy series or yeah I, I do want to check I know that that new Final Fantasy series is coming out but I don't have a PlayStation so hopefully they release it on PC so I can play it <laughs> but I would love to play that one too because I, I still haven't gotten to play the the 7 remake yet so oh. I'm, I'm waiting for that too oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was such a game like the characters the music yeah. everything was yeah. just like the detail was so good mm -hmm. i got to watch my roommate like play it for a little bit when i lived at my old oh, house yeah? um, but i didn't get to play it myself because i moved out oh, before i could play <laughs> oh no yeah unfortunately but it from what i saw it was amazing yeah and you can play it on stream and do two things you yeah. love at once which is great exactly exactly have you ever played a game out of your regular game genre i think that goes back to what i had said about like the rpgs like i had never really played any growing up mm -hmm. i think the the most that i played was probably like kingdom hearts and that that is like a pretty old game so i think that was like the most that i played so then i kind of wanted to step out of my comfort zone and just keep <laughs> playing them because like i'm not someone that like I, I enjoy the stories, but I hate, like, going on the quests and the side quests. Like, it's so, like, tedious to me. Yeah. So I was like, okay, you know what? Now that I'm streaming, like, maybe I'll try them out. So that's that's one thing that I've tried to to love. And some of the games I, I've really, really enjoyed. Like, I really enjoyed Nier Replicant, and I am i don't regret playing that one. Yes. Nier's, mm -hmm. Nier's games are so beautiful, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I never really heard of it. Like, Drakengard and, and like, Nier when it first came out. Um, but then when Nier Automata came out, I was like, oh, like, what is this? And everyone's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited for it. I was like, oh, wow, like, people are really hyped for this brand new game. But yeah. I didn't know it was a sequel to an old game. 2B Waifu. Oh, my gosh. One of my favorite oh my God, cosplays. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> <Yeah>. <laughs> are there any games that you refuse to stream, not including horror games? As much as I like FPS games, I am not a fan of Apex, Apex Legends. It's another oh. one. But I'm just so bad at it that I feel like if I streamed it, I would be very... It, it would just be, like, not worth it. And then I think another one is... Not that I refuse to stream it, but I'm, I'm just not, like, a big fan of Minecraft. And a lot of people have asked me, like, if I'm ever going to stream Minecraft, but I'm like... I, I just don't like that game. Like, I know that if I stream it, I can't put all of my energy into it because i just get so bored of it so fast like 20 minutes in i'm done <laughs> <laughs> well not everyone's good at every game right so like, mm -hmm. whatever you're gonna yeah <laughs> so does that mean you don't like playing horror games uh the only one that i really like is phasmophobia that's not even a horror game to me like it's just <laughs> it's so chill like me and Gigi are such high levels like it's like whatever but <laughs> i think like like i've seen people play like outlast or like resident evil 8 and i'm like I don't think I could play that. Like, I'm so scared. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I think when I used to stream, a lot of my um, viewers wanted me to play horror games. And oh, it's literally like a, like 
I don't know. I feel like I ran a marathon from screaming and jumping. You know what I mean? Like you just get so scared yeah. and you just like just yeah. sucks the energy out of you. So I'm like, oh my God, I uh -huh. can't do it. Yeah, like I think the one thing about horror games that I hate is the jump scares. Like I, I can't deal with jump scares. That, even in horror <laughs> movies, like if there's a jump scare, I can't do it. But if it's like psychological horror or something like that, I'm like fine with that. Mm. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> like the movie, you're just kind of like, nope, I can't watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if something pops out of me, I'm like, no. But if it's something that like messes with my head, I like that. I don't know why. Because it's it's a slow scare, not a bam yeah. scare. Yeah, that's true. Something that's like true. that. It's kind of like that <laughs> slow burn. <laughs> Who is your favorite VTuber sibling? Truthfully, I don't interact with a lot of my VTuber <laughs> siblings, which I feel bad about. But I think soon we're going to be doing like collabs together. So I'm, I'm very excited to finally be able to do that. I really, really like Kon and Kuro. I think they're very, very like sweet and humble guys. So I, I really like them. And I really want to get to know the girls a lot more. I think out of the girls, I know Ginger the most. But even then, like me and Ginger don't really interact that often. But I'd really like to. But I think definitely those two two boys are my favorite. <laughs> if you could collaborate with them, what would you do? Um, the girls and I are actually planning to play Valorant. Because <laughs> they oh. were like, oh, like, let's play Valorant all together. I'm like, yeah, like I'm, I'm totally down. And I think we wanted to play like a Among Us game with all of us oh. one day i think that'd be super fun because i mean Gigi has a lot of kids so. yeah oh my gosh Gigi just keep producing children i know Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another one that yeah. i think would be fun family collaboration are fun mm -hmm. <laughs> so now the real question is are you team tifa or area okay it, it's hard i like both <laughs> of them for their own reasons it's so hard to choose i've always been like because I, I i watched a lot of uh advent children now when i was a kid so obviously tifa was like one of the main characters i was like oh my god tifa's so cool mm -hmm. but Aerith is so beautiful like i don't know why she has like this elegance to her so i'm like i don't know it's so hard for me to choose i know it's like the ultimate question it is, Team and I know. can't decide. I'm already so indecisive. <laughs> 24 hour stream when? Oh my god. I don't, I don't think I can ever do one. Like, if I did, I would have to have people, like, tag team. So, like, someone else comes <laughs> in and chats with my chat for a little bit while I, like, go do something else. I was talking to my friend that, like, works at Twitch, and he was like, honestly, doing anything more than 14 hours is, like, pointless. And I was like, oh. Brain okay. just fried. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Like, you're just going to be, like, dead for the rest of the time. It's like, it, it, there's no point. So I think I would only do it if I have other people to do it with me. Would you, um, just sleep on your stream? <laughs> I thought about that, too. Like, for my subathon goal, one of them was going to be, like, sleep on stream, but I wouldn't know a way to... Put your character, put like... Stuff, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I wouldn't hmm. know, like, how to get it set up, like, to my bed, because I can't fall asleep in my chair. So I, I don't know how I would be able to do that unless you want to hear, like, white noise from the time that I'm in my bed. You need one of those chairs, like the one I have right now. You can, like, go all the way down. <gasps> what? That's so nice. Yeah, mine doesn't do that. <laughs> Which is nice. Gigi slept on this chair before. I don't know why, but... What? <laughs> is there anything you want to share with about projects you're working on? Anything people mm -hmm. should look forward to? Or Yeah. I have uh, a few covers coming out soon, so... Please look forward to that. I don't have any release dates for those, but they'll be on my Twitter for sure. Uh, okay, I'm looking forward to see which <gasps> songs you, you so, um, cover. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, thank, thank you so, so much. much for uh, coming on my um, interview, Vivid Talk. Okay, we'll see you. Yeah. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. bye. bye.